So this is something that has been making the news a lot in the last day, few hours, and that's that Uber has lost a ton of money this last quarter. And on its face, that seems kind of scary, especially if you're investing in Uber, um, if you work at Uber, or if you run Uber. But for those of you who aren't too familiar with Uber and its whole business plan and its strategy, this is not a big deal. $5 billion is is a lot, don't get me wrong. It's so much. But it's actually part of the plan. Uh, and actually, Uber has been losing money for years. That's because they keep burning cash. A lot of your rides are actually being paid by venture capital funding. They're subsidizing rides. They're making rides actually a lot cheaper. And the reason they're able to do this is because they're paying for a lot of it. So where is this $5 billion even coming from? Um, how does a company, a successful Uber, with tons and tons of people using Uber to get from one place or another, how the hell do you lose $5 billion in just a quarter? Some companies are not even worth a billion dollars. So the reason why is just because of its IPO. This is a one-time cost. It's never going to happen again. So don't think Uber is going to disappear overnight. It might still disappear, especially if things keep going the way they're going, but not anytime soon. The reason why they lost so much money is because they had to compensate their employees with a lot of money. A lot of it has to do with the fact that they have a lot of employees. This is because Uber uh, has granted a lot of stock options to its employees, and along with these employees getting these stocks, from the IPO uh, comes a lot of expenses um, that are just a one-time thing because they will never have a situation where this many employees at once are cashing in or are switching their options for actual stocks. What's crazy is that Lyft has been able to stay um, in the fight against Uber with very, very, very little costs. The question is, are we going to have a future with both Lyft and Uber? So long as these two are competing this much, are the losses going to stay high? I understand Lyft and Uber are investing a ton. Uber probably invests way more in Lyft. They're trying to rule everything. They want you to pay for public transportation, and they want to control the entire autonomous vehicle market. And because of that, a lot of investments have to be made. Do you think that we're going to live in a future with both Lyft and Uber, or that one of them will eventually win out and control all of the prices? Let me know what you think. Let me know what you would actually want to see. And keep following to stay up to date with anything tech-related. And see you next time.